Sodom and Gomorrah are destroyed. Part 6 of the story of Abraham. This is Abraham. He lived about 4,000 years ago, and he's known for his trust in God. Abraham's nephew, Lot, lived in Sodom with his family. He was sitting in front of the city gate when two messengers of God, called angels, passed by. Lot went up to them and invited them to come to his house. At first they refused, but he insisted because the city was dangerous, and so they joined him. When they arrived at his house, the people of Sodom started gathering in front of the house, shouting, Lot, give us your guests. We want to rape them. Lot went outside and closed the door behind him to protect his guests. Please don't do such an evil thing to them. They're my guests. I have two daughters that I can hand out to you instead. They wouldn't even listen to him. They pushed him aside and tried to break into the house. In that moment, the angels brought Lot into the house and closed the door behind him. And the men outside became blind so that they couldn't hurt anyone anymore. Take your family and leave this city, the angels urged Lot. Quickly, leave now and don't look back. As they were hesitating, the angels took them by their hands and led them out of the city. Run, don't turn around, they told them. As they were running away, fire fell from the sky and destroyed the two cities. Lot's wife turned around to watch, and in that moment she was turned into salt. Sometime later, Abraham looked down on Sodom and Gomorrah from a hill. Both cities were completely demolished. Only a pile of smoke was coming from the place where they had been. The only survivors of this catastrophe were Lot and his two daughters.